It's Miss Clap Rich coming to you from my very own backyard. That's right, I live right here. This is my, I don't have a huge backyard, but I still have fun playing out here. So I wanted to make another video today to share three main things with you. Number one, quickly talk about some of our thoughts and maybe frustrations about feeling a little bit cooped up right now and not being able to be at school. Number two, I have a bunch of fun activities I'm gonna share with you. And I'm actually gonna show you how to make a little bird feeder to, to attract more birds to your house. Maybe you can watch it from outside your window. It's really simple. And the third thing, I actually have a guest that might be flying in to visit at the end. So we'll see how that goes, but hopefully she'll come by to visit. So um, I hope you're able to watch yesterday's video. It was on St. Patrick's Day and we learned how to make a cool shamrock. And we wrote um, like a thank you note on there to someone that we love. And let's see, what else did we do? Oh, we learned a little bit more about St. Patrick himself and what a kind man he is. But yesterday afternoon, once I saw how much it was snowing, I thought, man, I gotta talk to my kids about how important it is to spend time outside. Because right now, yes, we're not able to be at school. Maybe we're spending a lot more time at home than, you know, than we usually do. And sometimes that can feel a little bit frustrating. They call it cabin fever. You know, in the middle of winter, you're spending all this time in, in, inside your home, but it's important to get outside, to feel the sun and to just breathe in the fresh air outside. And if you listen, sometimes you can hear birds. Um, you can hear the breeze going through the, through the trees. And it's so, um, it's really uh, energizing being outside. So you know what, even when you're feeling kind of cooped up inside, you can choose to say, you know what, I'm gonna put on my boots and my snow pants. I'm gonna go try to spend some time outside. Um, it's really, really fun, even if you don't have much of a backyard. So a couple little ideas that I have for you, I have them written down, let's see. Oh, that's right. You know what you can do? First of all, the snow is amazing for packing right now. Look at that, you can make a snowball in like two seconds. Um, you can make a bunch of snowballs and make like a little pyramid with them. You could keep rolling it up to make it bigger to make a snowman. Also, if you have any paints like laying around your house, like just like little cheap watercolors, you could actually even paint on the snow. And that's actually really fun. Another idea, I tried this once. Um, if you fill up one of your um, little ice cube trays in your freezer with water, and if you have food coloring, you could drop a little bit in there, let those freeze, and then have someone at home hide those little uh, colored pieces of ice around your backyard and make it a little treasure hunt, like you're looking for little gems that are hidden around your yard. Now, also, we talked about making a bird feeder, so if you wanna come on down here, um, one idea is you can take popcorn and if you have a needle and thread, once you pop the popcorn, you can thread um, the needle through each little piece of popcorn. And when you make a long thread um, with all the pieces of popcorn, you can put it on a tree outside your window and then watch the birds come enjoy. But I actually couldn't find a needle and thread and some of you may or may not have that, but it's an idea. But something that I bet you do have at home an empty toilet paper roll. So what I did is I took an empty toilet paper roll and I started to put peanut butter on it. So you keep covering it with a bunch of peanut butter and fill it up as much as you want. And then if you have bird seed, this is really fun. You'll just take this, roll it in the bird seed and it's that simple. Isn't that cool? And then all you have to do is, I actually couldn't find a piece of string at home either, but I bet you, you might have floss at home. I mean, you floss your teeth. And then you can take this and hang it on a little branch. And again, outside your window is super fun. So then when you're in your living room, you can look outside and see if there's any birds coming by to eat off of your bird feeder. And that's super easy to make. I bet you have all those things at home. So maybe you can give that a try. Um, I have one more idea of things, something that you can do outside that not only is a good workout, um, makes me really happy and might make someone else really happy too. So you know how we all have to kind of spend more time at home right now. We're not supposed to interact with a lot of other people. There's some people that are feeling really lonely right now, especially maybe people who are more elderly and a little bit older. So maybe if you're able to talk with your parents and it's okay with them, you could actually um, walk like to your next door neighbors. Again, make sure you talk with your parent about this, but actually 
shoveling snow. Shovel snow for your neighbor. This week we're supposed to get a ton of snow. Um, that's what they say in the forecast anyway, so we'll see. But um, shoveling snow for a neighbor, or maybe even for your uh, parents or in your own driveway, not only does it make you feel good and it gets your heart rate going and that makes you feel happier. Did you know that when you exercise, it actually does make you happier? Um, and it will also, you know, whoever's driveway that you're, that you're shoveling, it would make them feel really happy too and let them know that someone cares about them. Um, did you hear that? You guys. Oh my gosh. I told you she might fly in. Because of the bird seed that we put out with the, um, the little bird feeder we made. Do you know what kind of animal that is? Let's take a look. It's a beautiful snowy owl. She is beautiful. What do you think we should name her? Snowball? Mrs. Owl? We don't really know, but well, maybe you can let me know a good name that you think we should call her, but she is beautiful. Did you know that snowy owls and most owls can actually turn their heads almost all the way around? Can you do that? Try, let's see. I can only look to the sides. I can't really see behind me, but snowy owls and other types of owls can look behind them. Isn't that crazy? Snowy owls also in particular, they have these little like feathers and fur covering their little toes, kind of like furry slippers to keep them really, really warm. Um, one other thing, when I was out um, snowshoeing actually, uh, if you don't know what that is, you should look, uh, look it up or ask your parents about snowshoes. You put them on your feet so you can walk through deep snow. And on a snowbank, I saw there were these um, marks on the snow that kind of looked like feathers. And as I looked closer, I actually saw where an owl had dove right into the snow and got a little mouse that was underneath the snow. It was flying, 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 dove in, got the mouse, and you could see where its wings had opened up and were on the snow, and he flew away. He or she flew away with a little mouse. So that's pretty amazing, isn't it? So look up more about snowy owls. Maybe you can learn more about them. They're really unique, especially to Alaska. So you guys, um, I really hope that you can use maybe one of the ideas that we talked about today. Um, and if you don't have, you know, bird seed or any of those things at home, just get outside. We're gonna get a ton of snow this week and we live in Alaska, we gotta enjoy it. So if you're feeling cooped up inside, bundle up, get outside in the snow, that we can make a snowman, do something fun because you have the power to make, uh, make it a great day. You can choose to do something fun to make, you, make yourself happy. Um, but until we, I see you again tomorrow, please remember how much I care about you. You're amazing exactly the way you are. You don't have to do anything to make me like you. You're perfect exactly the way that you are. So I'm excited to talk to you tomorrow. I'll come with some more ideas. But until then, get outside. Maybe shovel your neighbor's, neighbor's driveway and just do something that makes you happy. Okay? All right. Um, Mrs. Owl and I say goodbye and we'll see you tomorrow.